is our first viewing of Rubber. Uh, I've never seen this movie. Uh, you you saw it a while ago, but yeah. you don't really remember. Like right? when it first came out, I don't remember a whole lot because like we were all kind of talking and drinking. It was kind of like just a Halloweenish kind of movie night thing. There's been a lot of people that have asked me to do this like ever since it came out. It's so much so I'm kind of shocked it's not as old as I thought it was. I thought it'd be at least like 10 years. I think it's only like five or eight or something like that, which is still, you know, a little bit ago. I'm assuming it's a bit of a comedy. I would, I don't know if it's better if it is or isn't, well, uh, but but so many people have been asking for it. There's like a whole story like, weird subgenre of these, I feel, because there's... Killer like a, Blank. Yeah, and there's a... Yeah, there's Killer Tomatoes, obviously. There's a Killer Tire. I want to say there was a Killer Turkey one at some point. Oh, there's, like, three or four there's Killer like Turkeys, a, man. Yeah, there's... <laughs> Thanks uh, Killing. That's it, and... Thanks Killing. Anything can kill you, it turns out. Yeah, so. it, it, it's kind of like that thing, anything can give you cancer. <laughs> it's like anything in horror yeah. movies can kill you. This is my first viewing. His kind of first viewing, because uh, he didn't remember that well. It's but A uh, reviewing. Yeah, so this, this is our first viewing of Rubba. Oh man, we put the Swedish artistic foreign film or something. Well, I can safely say I have questions. I'll figure this one out. In the Steven Spielberg movie, E.T., why is the alien brown? No reason. In Oliver Stone's JFK, why is the president suddenly assassinated by some stranger? No reason. Why was Transformers 5 even made? No, no reason. reason. Why don't we ever see the characters go to the bathroom? He's gonna take a shit on camera, isn't he? <laughs> I hope the whole film is two hours of this. <laughs> You've been fooled. I see Jack Plotnik. I am absolutely convinced that Plotnik is not a real name, by the way. <laughs> I'm totally convinced David Lynch and Charlie Kaufman did this film and they didn't want anyone to know. They did all look like fake names. That's an ego to have your name right after the title. <laughs> Here's the it's title, but more a, importantly, it's my name. <laughs> gotta be a gnome de plume. When did the wheels on the bus stop going round and round? I live again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the credits. <laughs> it's like we got a Mexican standoff. I feel like this is all something that would definitely happen in California. Pay money to watch a tire. <laughs> It does seem very California. -ish. It's about the experience, man. It'll change your life. It's a metaphor for how modern transportation has ruined America. <laughs> really? Really? Why is that pushing the limit for me that the tire has to drink? I don't know why. That's just like, no, that's stupid. Can anybody get his license by number? Hey, that joke actually works this time. So what's my motivation? You're driving. You give more motivation to the tire. You talk to the tire for hours. <laughs> I wonder if he sees like a tire burning dump like a Holocaust. Probably. <laughs> Runs into Norman Bates. I just reenact the yeah. whole psycho checking in. He's just talking with a tire. <laughs> Tire's taking a shower and then he Bates comes in. Comes in. <laughs> Kaboom! Boom, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, I was just kidding. Is that really what we're doing here? Yep. You just know this is somebody's fetish. Yeah, you look like you just got your hair wet. Yeah. Really? That's what? Okay. That's my biggest plot hole in this. Very well, Master. Yes, I, uh... The fuck? It's one of those killer turkey movies you're talking about. It is like this movie is listening to our jokes and saying, Oh, yeah, well, we can take it a step further. Fucking weirdos. Oh, you are asking for an invitation <laughs> to the race. <laughs> Didn't know Michael Keaton was in this. You got nothing better to do than come over here and start talking rubbish? No, rubber, not rubbish. Well, these are the yeah, I love toppings. <laughs> what? Oh, I was just kidding. Man, uh, every joke I make. <laughs> I think there was something in that turkey. I think you're right. Oh, uh, yes, I remember. I had the lasagna. Uh, I can say I'm annoyingly intrigued. It's like getting stuck next to a weird person on a plane. You can't go anywhere, so you might as well just listen to what they have to say. Can you imagine yeah. someone on a plane just start talking about this idea? And, and these people are watching through, through binoculars, and this tire goes around killing people, and they're talking about it while watching the movie. Now get that dirty tire out of the pool, or I'm gonna get really mad. Hey, no need to use slurs. It is not a dirty tire. Sorry. Now scram. You are getting on my nerves. Go. I'm gonna go tell my father. Wait, what's your connection? 
Can I ask you some questions for the investigation? Uh, sure, go ahead. What is up with your outfit? <laughs> it's been six hours. The poison has had time to take effect. We can stop. I can say even for a movie about a killer tire, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Listen. I have something important to announce. We're not going to make our money back on this picture. Now point it at me and shoot. No way. Doug, you do it. Yeah, Doug. Gladly. <laughs> oh, God. The kid was right. The killer is a tire. What am I supposed to do with this movie? <laughs> what does it mean, man? Tire. Watching exercise videos, watching women get out of pools, going in the pool. Blowing shit up, tire. I only remember that scene. <laughs> when did that happen? I squashed a spider? I wasn't cool. I just feel like my life is going in circles. <laughs> <laughs> I give you an hour to find him. He might have been on there! Chase him! <laughs> you feel like the writer of this was just like, I've been assigned to write a tire movie. It just has to have a killer tire. Okay, I'll give you a goddamn killer tire movie. <laughs> Aronofsky on this shit. <laughs> this is their problem, they just stop and look at them. Frank Oz's final performance, once soiled. Well, there it is, this movie is literally a tire fire. I was gonna say, is it actually gonna do like every joke we've made? This is so weird. Probably. He who saves one tire, saves the tire and tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just love it watching racing. To him, that's like the Olympics. So watching TV, what should we do? Well, call the cable company, get them to offer 500 channels, they'll keep them busy for a while. <laughs> Blow my head off, you big slut. I have been a very naughty girl. I almost feel like on, these people are mocking the guy who wrote and directed Human Centipede. <laughs> like, no, this Perhaps. is really what was going on. <laughs> this scene makes no sense at all. And not that it was great to begin with, but at least I understood it. Stop doing our job! <laughs> we'll try to speed things up now. Hmm. You can go back to your place. I guess if this had a big budget, Christoph Waltz would play him. Totally. The end, bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's been reincarnated as a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a character, I'm just watching. It's gonna convince the wheels on the wheelchair to go, I bet. Now you're just trying too hard. Getting we got a whole new go. round of jokes to use now. We're gonna have to cycle through them all. <laughs> I'm gonna go find a jigsaw puppet and be in the Saw movies. This whole movie is kind of like a zen riddle. The more it makes sense, the more questions I have. Don't you see it's more powerful now because there's three of them. There's three wheels. Oh shit, he's summoning an army of the undead rubber. Again! We're just making jokes! Stop making our now jokes go true! Now it's Day of the Tread! <laughs> hey! I was the tire! You were a tire. You were a tire. I, I gotta was admit, I didn't really movie give movie it my all. Mm -hmm. Special thanks to everyone who actually stayed with this film. <laughs> you. you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to? Um, that was something that happened. I think I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. It was so pointless. It's like, yeah, on the one hand, I'm almost angry, but on the other hand, that. yeah, it's so direct in how pointless it is and how much of its time it's going to waste. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, so really nothing did go anywhere. A part of me is almost annoyed they didn't kind of explain more, like, with the cry. I know it's like they're watching the movie instead of why did they kill him off of that. But again, that's also part of the fun, is that you're just never going to get an answer out of it. So it does kind of feel like a troll movie. But, like, it in a good way. Like, it's definitely self-aware well, and like you kind of know going too, in. Maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, I can't be angry, I can't be joyous, I can't really be much because it was so pointless. So I guess it really does achieve kind of what it said in the very opening it was going to do. Um, it was as advertised. Yeah. A pointless story about a killer tire. Yeah, and that, that's pretty much what it gave us. That had no meaning. Nope. 
no reason. Just like the Kennedy assassination, the Holocaust, and what was the other example he why gave? Why E.T. is brown. And why E.T. is brown. No reason. No reason. No reason. Um, no ending. 